welcome back welcome back welcome back everyone so this is going to be btech level 3 engineering this is going to be unit 1 principles of engineering this is only going to be the revision part for the electronic section i know nothing about mechanical engineering so i'm going to ignore that section i can only focus on the electronics section okay so that's what this is going to be this first video is going to be purely an introduction as to what is to come i'm going to record the part one or part two video straight away and release both of them at the same time so hopefully this is helpful to you guys and let's jump into this so what do we have so unit information so this is 120 guided learning hours simply put some units are 60 you got a learning hours some are 90 and some are 120 120 typically are the exam units or the very very big coursework units but not for engineering engineering 120 guided learning hours is an exam this one as i said is an exam only unit it has three sections mathematical electronic and mechanical so those are the three sections next we have so this entire power input will be for revision only as i said before i will only cover the electronic sections you must show all your working in this exam don't leave anything to the imagination right you might have heard this in gcse before if you show all your working and the process is perfectly fine and perfectly okay and you somehow happen to get the final answer wrong you still get some of the answers Com uh, versus when you simply write an answer down and you get it wrong there's nothing for the examiner to look at and try and give you some marks okay okay so always 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 make sure make it a point of duty to always do your working out okay so first and foremost i'm going to go over the the keywords let's say so state and describe Rem remember the facts needed state those facts in your answer typically short answer questions so you need to state a certain fact so resistors do this thing so simply describe the purpose of a resistor let's say next we have explain you must give a clear explanation relating to a specific component feature or process these questions can require both short and long answer questions now um, another thing i do recommend you guys do is if you have access to the revision booklet that's what i'm basically following for this please make use of it it is very 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 good pearson's the best thing about pearson's is not their exams is not their units it's actually their revision booklets the revision booklets are really tightly packed with information but it's everything you'll need for the exam typically speaking all right next we have find and calculate you will be given some information about a question you will need to find a solution or find a specific value normally mathematical questions now these can come up in both well in in all three sections obviously mechanical mathematics and electronic so but they work more or less the same way use mathematical methods to get an answer for a given question like that of find and calculate so these are very very similar um, keyword draw you will need it to create a graph or a diagram this needs to be as accurate as possible so you will need to sketch draw to scale whatever diagram you have been asked to draw please make sure you use your rulers and use whatever equipment you have with you do never don't ever draw anything freehand unless you have the straightest hands in the world label you will need to mark a specific part of a diagram you will need to label the highlighted section so as they've done here for example they've circled their word saturation is so quite simply label label it so don't describe it don't do anything but highlight the section that's that's needed and simply label it keyword name and identify keep this one simple sentences are typically not needed bullet points are perfectly okay or just answers after the other so for example i've given a worked example on the right name two types of core losses that limit transform efficiency circulating eddy currents and hysteresis losses so that's how that works simply state what they are move on it's only two marks you don't need to do anything else right so when we, when we need to convert something convert from a given value to another keep it simple show the entire process there is no such thing as too much when it comes to these type of things because if you show the entire process this seems like too much just to convert a very simple thing right however this would get full marks even if the person didn't have 49.4 if they had, I don't know, 59.4, this I would most likely give this most of the marks. If okay, this is a two marker question, I would give one, at least one. If this were a four marker question, I would give I, I would be inclined to give three because it was a simple misunderstanding why they wrote um, five instead of four. So make sure you show all your work in. Um, luckily, you will get an exam booklet in the exam. So you have a booklet of formulas and please make use of it please go through it with your teachers when they're doing work pay attention i cannot cover everything here you do not have to remember everything but you need to remember 
the basics. You need to know how to use those formulas. So the good thing is you don't have to remember the formulas themselves. But when you see a question, you should be able to say, hmm, I need that formula. I need to use Ohm's law here. Um, this is just a link for my students. I'll put the link in the description as well. So everyone can have the formula booklet or whatever the most up to date formula booklet is as of where we now. We are in October 2022. Oh, this one is not look pretty at all, but that's fine. I am given the most basic definitions. This will hopefully force you to look at um, to Google yourself and to go and watch YouTube videos yourselves. But what I have done is on some of my PowerPoints, which I will try and share with you guys if possible, is I've put the actual Google search I typed in to get my answers. The actual YouTube videos I have typed in to find a YouTube video. So you can do the same. Simply click on my link, go to YouTube, go to um, Google and you will see the results straight away and you can choose whatever works best for you. So some people prefer to watch videos. Some people prefer to read whichever works best for you. The options there and i say never take all your information from a single source this is just a typical thing when it comes to engineering it just referencing in general never just go to one source for all your information unless it's a primary source i will link to other youtube channels simply because as i said before never get all your information from one place that's it simple for example here i've added a really nice video for basic electronics because this person has animations and drawings and they've gone over everything that I think most people need need to know to be able to go into a unit one exam, unit six or unit 19 exam and actually understand what needs to be done. Very simple, very basic. Well, it says basic electronics, so it should be basic. I've put another video in here again. This person doesn't have as many animations or drawings. They say they have actual components showing you what things actually look like, which is very, very good. And next we have binary basics again, another YouTube channel. You guys probably know of Linus Tech Tips. This is another one of his channels that teach pe people things as quickly as possible. And they go over binary. This is not necessarily something you have to know for this exam, but I think it's something that every single engineer, every single IT person needs to know more moving forward because a question will pop up at some point about binary hexadecimal octal and you will need to know what they are actually i need to put that in as well so i'll put a few videos for um, hexadecimal and octal as well binary is a base two number system octal is a base eight number system because it has eight values zeros to seven binary only has two zero and one we have denary which is our normal number system that's zero to nine that has ten because zero to nine is actually ten and what was the last one again i said octal hexadecimal uh, zero to sixteen but when we get to 10, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When we get to 10, it's actually A for 10, B for 11, C for 12. I, I lost count. But you guys get the point. I'll put a few videos in the description. Hopefully those are useful. Uh, we have logic gates as well. Fundamentals of electronics. Um, are going to be logic gates, the fundamentals of computer chips, logic gates, transistors, right? We need to know all of these things. I haven't seen any questions on this on the unit one paper, but this is something we need to know. So please feel free to go ahead and have a look at that. So I'm not going to do part two in this video. So this was a long enough video for just an introduction. As So this is how I'm going to be doing it. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and let's go.